Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's EL Talks Football. We're back again with another video. Today in this video, we're going to be talking about some sales, some potential incomings, and just overall a lot that needs to be discussed. As we are here sitting here Sunday, it is it's just past midnight for me, and I'm and I'm making this upload because I need to talk about all the things that took place in Arsenal transfer news in the last like, 24 to 48 hours. First, um, I just want to start off by saying big up to everybody who's watching. Hopefully you guys enjoying this content and let's get into what people are talking about. So I'm seeing a lot of rumors about Benjamin Sesco. I'm seeing a lot of rumors about Victor Ozyman. I'm even seeing some rumors about people talking about Arsenal potentially going in for Real Madrid's Rodrigo. Wesley Fofana. It's just so much to be discussed. Potential moves for uh, for players away from the club. So yeah, let's let's look into some of these things. Let's look into some of these things. So first, uh, about five hours ago, there was a report that came out that said that Arsenal are close to signing um, RB Leipzig striker Benjamin Sesko. This came from the Mirror after uh, Mirror John Cross after he confirmed earlier in the week that Sesko wants to move to Arsenal. And this could potentially be our next upcoming striker signing. I think this would be a great signing for Arsenal. And uh, the 21-year-old, as it was his birthday the other day, would would be a very ambitious upcoming signing. In in a market where Victor Osman could potentially cost $130 million, it does make sense. A younger, uh, pro, a younger player who's going to cost you less and overall... Will come into the side and will not have to be guaranteed. It will not have to be that guy who guarantees you twenty goals right away, as we don't necessarily need that right away. What we what we need is a striker to come into this team and improve the team. But overall, do we need that player to be twenty goals right away, guaranteed right away, or do we need somebody who's kind of a project, beat the market, and can potentially become that hundred million pound striker? Because they do believe that Benjamin Sesko in a year or two can potentially be in that same bracket as the Victor Ozyman. Now, there's also other news around Victor Ozyman. Chelsea are reportedly interested in Victor Ozyman, but Fabrizio Romano has reported that uh, more the Chelsea are not, what do you call it? Chelsea are currently not, uh, Victor Ozyman is not on the list for Chelsea at this moment in time. So that might mean that Arsenal could potentially swoop in for him as reports that Arsenal are ready to launch a bid for Benjamin Sesko. We're going to have to see where, if and where that goes. There's also some mystery signings that Arsenal might be looking at. Could that be Rashford? Could that be Rodrigo? We'll have to wait and see. There's also rumors around Napoli are, close, uh, are closely looking at Emma Smith Rowe as they weigh their options over the summer for Victor Ozyman. It's ridiculous some of the transfer rumors you hear. Napoli coming in for Emil Smith-Rowe, I would have never thought I would hear that in a million years. But yeah, Arteta is apparently a big fan of Victor Ozyman, uh, as reported here from the Gazette, uh, Gazette Sport in Italy. You also have Arsenal looking at a Chelsea centre-back. Yes, Arsenal are looking at none other than Wesley Fofana. Reportedly, Wesley Fofana is being monitored by uh, by Arsenal, as the scouting report, uh, as the scouting department are have been interested in him. But what doesn't make sense is he's been injured for well over two years. Could it just be that because he's been injured, Arsenal are now looking at him more due to that fact that he's been injured and that his market value would have diminished massively? I think Chelsea might have signed him for close to eighty million pounds due to him having two years off injured. Could that price drop dramatically? We'll have to wait and see what happens there, right? Um, then you also have Aston Villa are in pole position to sign Emil Smith Rowe. As uh, but what is what is the minimum value you would take for Emil Smith Rowe? Personally, for me, for selling him to Aston Villa, minimum 30, 35 million plus. I would say I, I would need a decent return on on Emil Smith Rowe. Plus, it would be pure profit, so it would benefit the club massively. I don't think we're going to sell for that cheap. But then you have to remember his wages. Could his wages be an obstacle to stop other clubs from coming in and signing him? So maybe that might be an obstacle that we would need to worry about. But at this moment in time, Emil Smith Rowe, I still think he's a high quality, up and coming player. And any anywhere he goes, I could see him really doing well. So. Arsenal, we need to do better at player sales. Please, if you're going to sell him, get at least 35 million plus 
for Emma Smith Rowe. That would be crucially needed. But hey, oh, Arsenal want at least 40. <laughs> Even better. If we can get 40 million for Emma Smith Rowe, that is straight cash into the bank. And if you don't know how profit and sustainability works, if you get 40 million for Emma Smith Rowe, that would be the equivalent to 120 million in in your in your profit and sustainability bank that can help you sign more signings. So that could go a long, long way for Arsenal. It is going to be a very busy transfer window. So expect expect Arsenal to do a lot of business, as as, as being said. Um, the Benjamin Sesco situation, there is reports that Arsenal, Chelsea, Manchester United, and PSG are all interested in Benjamin Sesco. As Ben Jacobs, friend of the show, has reported, um, uh, Sesco has, uh, hasn't agreed to any clubs yet, but Leipzig have also put um, a lucrative renewal on the table as he could potentially get a new contract renewal and that might make uh, it harder for people to sign him for such a cheap fee. As it, At this moment in time, he has a release clause in his contract which could see him move away from Leipzig in the summer. Um, so yeah, as we were speaking about earlier, guys, Wesley Fofana to Arsenal, yes or no? Let me know in the comments if you guys would take yet Wesley Fofana at Arsenal. If I'm not mistaken, Wesley Fofana is still quite young, so uh, sorry to be all over the place in this video, but I just need to go back to it. He's 23 years old. If he can get over his injury issues at 23, we could have one hell of a uh, player in, in, in Wesley Fofana at Arsenal, and he is quite young still, so we're ha we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Also, Ben Jacobs spoke about Victor Ozyman, and he spoke about, along with uh, Sesco, Arsenal are looking at... Uh, Jonathan Xerxes, uh, Evan Ferguson, and Victor Jokerez. Those are guys that we've spoken about in the past, but I don't think they're at the top of Arsenal's queue. Um, so it is understood that no approach has yet been made for Victor Ozyman, despite the reports. Napoli insists the full release clause must be paid. I think, we, I don't know, it's ridiculous, like $130 million or something like that. Uh, Ozyman will provide a very expensive deal given his wages and his agent fee factoring in unless Napoli's position softens. So yeah, at this moment in time, PSG are considering Victor Ozyman and Cavascalia is already heavily linked to PSG. So that is another thing going on over there. Uh, what else is there? Oh, also 11 hours ago, we also had a report that uh, Yusuf Fafana, uh, our Arsenal are looking at Yusuf Fafana. This came from uh, this this uh, article here on HITC. Understood that the clubs have touched base over the players' representatives at ASA Monaco. This is a up and coming French uh, defensive midfielder, if I'm not mistaken. So Yusuf Fafana has been linked to Arsenal in the past. Yusuf Fafana is highly touted in his position. He could be. Uh, he's 25 years old. The, the the 25 year old midfielder could definitely help strengthen Arsenal's side. His contract actually is is his contract up? Oh shit, his contract's up next season. So uh, Monaco are trying to get some you know, money in return before his contract goes up. Could be a decent deal. Uh, could be an affordable deal actually. So we're gonna have to wait and see what happens there. He is 25 years old. He's he he's still very young and. It could be a reasonably cheap deal for that midfielder, Yusuf Fafano. We're going to have to see. Arsenal are linked to Bruno Gamares. We are linked to um, uh, Frankie De Jong. We're also linked to Onana and now Yusuf Fafana. So it's just add him to the list of potential midfielders Arsenal could sign this upcoming summer. We've already spoken about Benjamin Sesco as uh, Arsenal are pushing. Chelsea and Manchester United are monitoring the situation, waiting to see in the background if Arsenal don't go for him, then they can go and pounce and try to sign that player. Um, what else is there that needs to be spoken about? Uh, Arsenal have never sold a player for more than 32 million, which was Alex, uh, Alex Iwobi in 2017. Yeah, we have to improve our player sales. Uh, I think we need to improve our player sales massively. Our player sales have been horrific. Um, we're not in for Elise. I don't know why I'm showing Elise. Where is okay? So that is enough about that. Now let's go to um, this here. Reportedly, there's reports that came out that uh, Napoli and AC Milan are interested in KVR. Yes, Napoli and AC Milan are interested in KVR, and KVR 
the arsenal over the availability for KVR. The Gunners would prefer to keep the player, but are open to sale if the value is excessive. So I fully agree there. I think if KVR is sold, it would need to be for a decent fee. Uh, but at this moment in time, unless somebody's coming in for, for a fee that is blowing uh, blowing our transfer fee that we bought them for in the pl first place out of the water and just giving us a really good deal, I don't see KVR leaving. I just think KVR is going to end up staying at Arsenal. And I think this at this moment in time is just teams testing the waters, potentially seeing who, who Arsenal will be willing to sell. We, we bought them for 20 million from Italy in, in uh, 20 million euros, I think 19.5 million euros in, in the January of 2023. If we were to sell him and we can get 40 million for him or something like that, maybe we sell him in the transfer window. Uh, I don't know. How much would you sell KVR for in the comment section? Let me know in the comment section how much you would sell him for. In my opinion, I think it would it would need to be a reasonable fee for Arsenal to sell Jakob KVR right now. But I would consider it just not uh it would I would just I would just need I would just need to I just need to wait and see what happens, but hopefully, hopefully, I pray that um, that that we get we get a good return if we do end up selling Yahoo KVR. But I I personally would not sell Yahoo KVR. I would keep KVR around, um, especially if we're looking to sell the next man that I'm about to discuss in this um, in this post right now. One second, let me go. Let me go get. Let me go get. Well, let me go find that article right now so yeah the next person i'm going to discuss is none other than the man himself zinchenko this is interesting because since um since vincent company has joined bayern munich staff as their as their first team uh, head coach uh vincent company could want uh zinchenko as his primary first target to replace <laughs> this is crazy. Alfonso Davis. Um, the pair have worked together at Manchester City and currently uh, unknown whether Mikel Arteta will be willing to let go of the player in the summer. But of course, due to his lack of game time last season, at the end of the season, Arsenal and the manager are still rate uh, uh, the Ukrainian quite highly. But John Cross from the Mirror has reported that uh, we would be willing to sell him to Bayern, but it would need to be an excess of 35 million potentially that's how much they might rate him at so if we can get 35 million for Zinchenko that's what we paid for him that would be an absolute amazing deal and I would take that in a heartbeat hopefully that is true hopefully that happens but yeah I don't think there's any debate there that would be a ridiculously good return and I would take that in a heartbeat in my opinion but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section so zinchenko to bayern munich would be amazing I, I if we could do that i would be all over it i would not sell um i would not sell um kbr in my opinion i would keep him unless we get a ridiculous transfer fee wesley fana injury issues have been a risk but if we can get him for a very cheap deal at a set uh, he would be an amazing rotation piece and he won't have to be playing as much especially with gabriel and saliba available and he would be a really good cover for them too as he is of that quality where he, where you don't have to worry about him next um the striker situation, would you rather sign Victor Osimhen or would you rather sign Benjamin Sesko? Let me know in the comment section which one you'd rather sign. Um, uh, Fafana, uh, Fafana from Monaco is very interesting. We're going to have to wait and see what happens there, how that escalates. I'd love to see if that goes any further or not. But for now, I bid you guys adieu. I'll be back Monday with a full um, Arsenal transfer video, uh, a full live video, me and Gunnar Souls talking about every transfer and everything that we had that I that I might have missed and I'll keep you guys posted if there's anything major for now hopefully you guys enjoyed this short little update and I'll catch you guys to, uh, on vibes from the six with with the rest of the boys but yeah oh one second one second before we go any further yeah I found the article on Rodrigo yeah Arsenal are interested in signing Rodrigo from Madrid, according to Cadzen S.E.R. The Brazilian was in fine form for Madrid last season, contributing to 17 goals and nine assists in all competitions. 
Thought to Arsenal fans on another Brazilian. I would take him in a heartbeat. I think he would start for us right away and he'd be one of our best players right away. Up there with Bakaya Saka, we would have somebody on Bakaya Saka's level on the other wing. He could play on the left. He can play as a striker. He can play on the as a right winger. He can he can do it all. This would be this would be a game changing signing for Arsenal. Forget about the striker. If you can get Rodrigo, unbelievable. I would spend more money. Uh, I would spend the money that we're talking about on a striker on Rodrigo. He would change our team. This could be Alexis Sanchez levels uh, of quality coming into this team. But yeah, I'll bid you guys to do there. Hopefully, you guys uh, let me know what you guys think about this call, this video. And I'm out, people. Catch you guys on the next one. As you guys already know what it is. Peace. Love for the love.